Hi, I promised to uh, keep you updated on my heat pump hot water system um, installation and uh, results uh, that I've got from, I've already done one update uh, video here, so check that out. And I use a surprisingly small amount of uh, energy, electrical energy, because I change from a gas hot water system, uh, tank hot water system to a heat pump tank uh, hot water system, which you can see here. It's a reclaim unit. It's uh, 415 litres. It's a huge jobby, the biggest one they make. Uh, and I replaced my existing 175 litre. You can see how little energy that I use here. Um, it's the area under that blue curve there compared to my solar um, output here. Anyway, I'll link in those videos. Um, I've got some additional um, <clears throat> data for you because some people asked, uh, how much energy does this tank actually use per day if I'm not actually using it if we're away and we're not you know the heater doesn't get uh, the hot water doesn't get used at all um, you know how much loss is there and how much energy does it take per day well the first thing to uh, realize is that the uh, this reclaim unit I'm not sure about other units but this one uh, specifically has a mode in the uh, in the uh, controller over here that will uh, ensure that the tank at least once every day reaches uh, 58 degrees Celsius. And that's the sensor down the bottom, the bottom third. I've done a video on the whiteboard about that, um, where it's located, down the bottom. And of course, it pumps out 63 degree hot water at the top, 58 degrees down the bottom, but it actually operates at least once per day. That's to prevent uh, Legionella uh, buildup in the water. So it's, yes, it is actually going to turn on when we're not there. Now, we actually went away uh, for two days. So I've actually got two days worth of data here. And we can actually see, I've now got, by the way, I've now got my EV charger actually um, uh, hooked up. We can probably see EV. There it is there. We can actually get the EV. We can get rid of the consumed. The green graph is now the EV one there and it's that weird normally it follows the solar but it's that weird shape because we had other stuff i think that was the dishwasher coming on um and you know other things being turned on and stuff like that but uh yes yeah, so i've now got the um, ev hooked up to its own thing even though i can get this data from the zappy it's nice to have it consolidated in the one system here anyway to the data that i promised here we go um we were away here and you can see that I can actually get rid of, I <laughs> can get rid of the consumed one, which is the purple, and we can just look at the blue one, which is the hot water here, and you can actually see it relative to our solar production, and it's absolutely tiny. So, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, there is, even during winter time, like even a bad day here in summer, like, the so when the solar output was like half less than half of like, like a really good day here, um, then it's more than enough. To heat our hot water so i think even even on, even on a bad day in the middle of winter we'll still have enough excess solar energy to actually heat up our hot water for our daily usage anyway so it, it tells us um the figure oh yep it tells us the figure pro produced does it tell us the figure here yeah here we go so these days here oh, i can actually get get rid of that so i can show you the ratio here okay so on the 5th of december we use 2.5 kilowatt hours um, of energy to heat our hot water this is like a normal day then we use 2.4 the next day then we use 2.5 again slightly you know um, it doesn't show the extra decimal point in there but I think it's it's measuring it but anyway so they were a regular day when we're using I don't know uh, 100 liters of water 120 liters I don't know how much we use but it's less than the 175 liter old tank that we had um, because this one's a 415 liter but here it is two days in a row we used, when we weren't there at all, so used no uh, hot water at all, didn't even turn the tap on, 1.7 kilowatt hours. So that is the base, and then the next day was 1.8. So that depends on environmental factors and incoming water temperature and, you know, ambient temperature, all that uh, sort of jazz, right? And uh, and loss overnight and how cold it was and, you know, leaking from the uh, pipes. Because if you don't, like, with this... Uh, pipe down here, which is the overflow pipe. That one's not insulated. Maybe I might wax some insulation around that because technically that actually conducts out the 63 degree water at the top. So maybe we could get a little bit of advantage there, but meh. So there it is. Um, a base level for a 415 litre tank. So this is the big jobby. Just to keep it topped up, ready to use, still needs 1.8 kilowatt hours, 1.7, say, uh, per day. This is in summertime here in Sydney, Australia. So there you go. It's it's interesting. I didn't know what figure to expect from that. I think that's probably reasonable because, you know, there's some loss overnight. 
Uh, I think I measured like a, a degree per hour or something like that. I can't remember. I did get some data that popped out of the, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there it is, 1.7 kilowatt hours uh, per day minimum. So there you go. And then the following, if you're interested in the following days, the EV charger here, we're using that. Here we go. Like other days, we're using 2.8, 3. So I don't know, maybe we had some, like a bath there or something, uh, probably. 2.2. Uh, so, you know, it's varying anywhere from 2.2 to 3, something like that. 2.4 kilowatt, 2.7. So there you go. So it's well under the 3 that they claim on their uh, website. So, um, it, which was uh, for a regular family of four. Um, so yeah, it's it's well under that, um, as little as 2.2 and 1.7. So there doesn't seem to be a huge penalty in actually um, using the water in terms of like heating it back up. You know, look, you, you only like from here to down to here, you're only like, I don't know, like it's not much, like 20% something like that extra energy and i'm sure if we use more water it's yeah it might jump up to three kilowatt hours as we saw you know because i think we have had a couple of baths uh recently and well i certainly did um and yeah it doesn't seem to be a, a huge penalty i'm sure if we had like guests over a lot of guests over and uh they'll stay in there and they had to shower and everything like that that we haven't had that happen uh yet so we haven't used like a huge amount of water and i'm not just going to go waste water for the sake of an experiment um <laughs> leave it in the comments down below if you want me to do that but that might uh, upset mrs ev blog a bit um <laughs> anyway she used to work in that business so um yeah she's not going to be happy with uh me wasting the 400 liters of water just to prove a point even though we get the energy for free um free coming from our excess solar so there you go oh yeah look we could actually find that day if you wanted to see it uh what what, what day was it? The 8th of December. We could actually go back. It's been a bit buggy lately. Sol Analytics site. I, they, if you're wondering what that dip there was, I uh, discontinued, uh, disconnected uh, the power there for a little bit. Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 8th, 8th, 7th. And you can see the short period. So it came on at the 10 a.m. Yep, switched on at 10 a.m., exactly with the timer. And it switched off at 11 30 p.m. So it's on for an hour. So the heat pumps on continuously for an hour and a half as opposed to uh, Three hours usually it comes from from like 10 a.m. Look we can show you that the next day boom we can so there you go. That is the difference between on and off there um, For the uh, well away home and away basically. So yeah That's interesting 1.7 kilowatt hours per day for that 415 liter tank I don't know if that would increase or decrease or stay the same for a for the smaller um, tank. I guess you know it has to do with the width and the dimensions and how it's you know and I don't know. But under ideal conditions, don't know. Um, but there you go, 1.7. That's it. Hope you found it interesting. Catch you next time.